Hello everyone. Today we will be learning about reflection. Now you might be wondering that what has reflection to do with mathematics? Well, it is a very important tool in geometry. In fact, there is a branch of geometry called transformation geometry. We discuss it in our Math Olympiad program level 6 and 7. And uh, reflection becomes a very powerful tool in that portion of geometry. So I'll give you an example. The problem that we will be doing today. Suppose we have a triangle ABC. Now there is a given point P inside the triangle. There is a given point P inside the triangle. You want to draw a segment XY. You want to draw a segment XY such that P is the midpoint of X and Y. Draw segment XY such that P is the midpoint of XY. Now, as usual, I will tell you certain situations which do not work. For example, if I draw a line like this, clearly this red line right here cannot be XY because, well, XP seems a little bit smaller than PY, right? And there could be other examples for example if i have this green segment clearly this green segment cannot be xy as well why not because well again xp looks smaller than yp right now there is a position there could be actually more than one positions where xp will be equals to py and we want to draw one such segment how can we do this this is a construction problem this is a construction problem so how are we going to construct this xy now before we go into the solution discussion because we want to learn how to use reflection in this in the context of this problem let me tell you a little bit about the two types of reflection that we use all the time. So I call them reflection about a point and reflection about a line. So what is the meaning of the first one? Well, in the first case, the mirror is a point. Let's call it P. Now, if we have a line segment like this, to get the reflected image of AB about P, we will be joining each point on that segment, connecting it with P and continue the motion in the opposite direction for the equal amount of distance. So to get the reflected image of B, we join BP and then produce it to reach B prime such that BP and B prime P are equal in length. And the same thing will be applicable to A and in fact every point in between. So if I have a point Q here, this will be Q prime. So here is my question and you can respond to it 
in the Chinta app if you are watching this in the Chinta Genius app or in the comment. If I have a point B or a point P let's say and if I have this letter B here what is the reflected image of the letter B about this point P? How will it look like? How will the reflected image look like? You can also send me a picture of that to helpdeskatchinta.com. You can show me how the reflected image of B uh, looks like about the point P and if you do it correctly I can arrange a one month complimentary access to the Chinta Genius app just email it to helpdeskatchinta.com okay now the question about reflection about a line well this one is more familiar we have a line which is the mirror let's call it L now if you have an object that is that looks like A, the way you construct the reflection is you the way you construct the reflection is you take every point on the object, you drop a perpendicular on the line, and then you move in the opposite direction by the same amount. So this point goes here and so on, right? Okay, so the reflected image of A will sort of look like this. Can you tell me in what situation the reflected image will look exactly like the original image? reflected image looks exactly like the original image in what kind of situation can you give me some pictures of objects where this happens of course i'll give you a trivial example in circle the reflected image looks exactly the same as the original image can you give me other examples like this okay so if you can, you can send it to me at helpdeskatchinta.com and we will arrange a one month free access to the Chinta Genius app where you can ask questions, post doubts and take some tests, practice good mathematics. Okay, now let's come back to this. I'll remind you what the question was. ABC is a triangle. We have XY, a line that we want to construct such that P, the given point P, is the midpoint of XY. So if we have a triangle ABC and suppose the point P is here, if we reflect A about P, we get A prime. Similarly, if you reflect B about P, we get B prime. And if we reflect C about P, we get C prime. So basically reflecting the triangle ABC about P, we get A prime, B prime, C prime. Now look at the places where ABC and a prime b prime c prime are intersecting x is one such point what is the image of x under the reflection can you rigorously show that it is this point y how can you rigorously argue that the reflected image of X is Y. If you attended the math of impaired session that we had, 
on this problem we discussed how important it is to rigorously argue it in the first place now if you join the segment xy it must pass through p and p is the midpoint of x and y all of these claims requires a rigorous argument can you tell us why and if you can put that as a comment or you can email it to me at helpdeskagenda.com keep on doing great mathematics i will see you in the next one